yes, it is that time. It is I, and am I excited? Because we're in October, which means it's horror movie season. Yes, folks, horror movie season is October. And in fact, if you go to Facebook and look for the Oshkosh uh, 31 Days of Horror, it challenges you to watch a horror movie, 31 horror movies in October. You don't have to watch them all at once or every day, but, you know, just kind of work them in there. But watch 31 horror movies, you write about them, you save it up, you email them at the end of the month, and you might get some cool prizes. So you may want to check it out on Facebook. Okay, let's get to today's movie, which is only for mature audiences only. If you have any little kids in the uh, audience, you may want them to leave the room now because we're going to talk about a little bit of a mature subject called The One-Eyed Monster. Yes, The One-Eyed Monster, starring Ron Jeremy and Veronica Hart, as well as Carmen Hart, and a few other people you may not know, and the late Charles Napier. Now, this is not a porn movie, folks, though with this cast in here, you would think so, wouldn't you? No, but get this. It is the story of a film crew who goes up to the remote woods to film an adult film. And it, you know, stars Ron Jeremy, Veronica Hart, as well as others. They're playing themselves, kind of. Anyway, while up and shooting this film, Ron Jeremy's member ends up getting possessed by an alien being, detaches itself, and goes on a murderous rampage. I am not making this up, folks. Yes, it is Ron Jeremy's member on a murder spree. It's supposed to be a comedy horror send-up to the old uh, monster films, but what it really ends up turning out to be is more of a, a, a platform for Ron Jeremy and Veronica Hart to speak out about how the newer, you know, adult film industry isn't like it was in the old days. And, well, you get to see a lot of robotic male member roaming around. Yes, folks, this... <laughs> I would love to say, you know, this is the first time I've seen something like this, but we, I reviewed Bad Biology last year, and, yep, it had the same similar concept. So, is it good or bad? Well, it's the... Depends on your definition. Now, you do have the late Charles Napier, who recently passed away in it. It was one of his last films. And let me tell you, his performance is one of the better ones out of there. As the Vietnam vet who has seen this kind of thing before. Yes, I know, folks. I'm, I really wish I was making this up. Let me tell you, out of the entire movie, though, the performance that, if you do want to watch this film, you should look for is not Ron Jeremy's, Veronica Hart's, Veronica Hart's, but, well, Charles Napier does good, but the guy who does the best is Jason Grant. He makes the most of his role, which is uh, one of the crew, you know, the, the behind-the-scenes crew working the equipment, and I liked his role out of all of them. Yes, there are a few chuckle moments, but for the most part, you're just sitting here going, oh my god, really? Seriously, they went there? Oh, they go all over the place, folks. Now, it might surprise you that the boff count in this film is a total of... One, yes, one from, guess who, Carmen Hart. Yes, she is the one that removes it all. And she's the only one that removes it all in the end. Folks, one monster. I have no idea where this movie came from. I, I ran across it. I don't know how. But let me tell you, folks, it is a unique horror comedy film. There are some homages to other films. Uh, and there are some... Bits here and there that are actually very, very entertaining, but on the whole, it is a kind of just a meh film. It's more of seems like a horror movie made for the adult industry in their inside jokes and that. And so, if you know you're kind of like Ron Jeremy, you may want to go see it. Uh, and you're looking for one of the Charles Napier movies yet you haven't seen, uh, you may want to see it. But on the whole, folks, it, it got two stubs from me. It just wasn't there, okay? One stub for Jason uh, Graham's performance, who you probably never heard of, but he does well, and one for Charles Napier. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. One-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. A one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. Sure looks strange to me.